hey guys thank you so much for watching part two of my journey to greatness with ndowu please do enjoy <laughs> you get employed and then you you still go you then, still go then, exactly and, yeah and, and, and if you look at people who are like doing very very well in, the, in their life and are the people who are like learning further exactly you have to learn further. exactly you have to, even when you're working you still have to learn you have to update yourself mm. you have to be there you have exactly to be there. Yeah. Like, so yeah. those conversations I'm... <laughs> <laughs> sometimes like, I, I became rude i'm like bro you dropped out of grade 11 <laughs> what do you know about this i'm kidding <laughs> because you get you get frustrated and and and, and then when people you believe them yeah when i was told that um don't do honors like yo you're doing honors now and then i finished my honors and i'm like okay now i'm Actually finished. Mm. I wanna go to work, mm. and and then masters was there, and I'm like, okay, what is masters? Mm. Masters, you become your researcher. They introduce you the techniques and mm. other mm. stuff, and I'm like, okay, this is now when I get to learn the techniques. I have to like master these things, be able to run them by myself, and mm. I'm like. That's now being a scientist, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have done well with my research on, on my own. Mm. Okay, let me just go there. So, wait, yeah. before you go there, because this is how we actually meet mm -hmm. you and me. Yeah, 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 um, I think my my supervisor in 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 honors, she yeah, yeah. she mentioned used to mention a lot of bioinformatics, and also there was the bioinformatics course that mm. we did as part of our honors. Okay. So she would mention that no bioinformatics is new and upcoming, and people actually make a lot of money. I love money. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like your salary, yeah. it's like the new thing. Like scientists yeah. are looking for bioinformatics. It is actually the new thing. Because bioinformatics, guys. If we have an opportunity to go and do bioinformatics. Go into it. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. Some of us yes, will have that opportunity. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's when I, I I started researching about which institutions mm. offer biomedical. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But I was very scared of it. I think the reason why I didn't do it is because I was very scared of bioinformatics. It was scary because you 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 don't even have to use Windows. They use Linux, yes. and the language there is very very difficult. You have to learn how to code. You have mm. to learn how to functionalize those things of mm -hmm. which to think back on it i'm like why did i run away like because we could have learned <laughs> we, you right? could have learned yeah you could have learned yeah. but then i think that that master said uh, it, it was a like one-year course i think so you had was it one year yep oh that was a yeah. <laughs> yeah you're right so actually, you, we could yeah. have done our masters in one year yeah but then there's a lot of like courses and now we are coming from microbiology you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be doing the, all these codings and those people had done their codings uh, like your peers uh, you you would be learning with people who have done their coding ever since maybe first year second mm. year so you have to learn IEO <laughs> like yeah. ABCD yeah I so, get you so that was, it was so scary in that in that way and a lot of people I think I, I had the statistics a lot of people were failing because they, really yeah and it had money guys like how much was it it was ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was good. That was good. So um I got it from my supervisor as well. Mm. So she just told me about this thing and she was like, Okay, this this opportunity, you're gonna go to rooms and you have this and this and this and that. Mm. I ended up not going because I was scared of change. Yeah. I had like um I married my roots in uni and I know my way through. Mm. I, I felt so comfortable. Mm. And that is the reason I went to the uni to the University of Venda in the first place. Mm. It's near home. Like, like you're comfortable. You can actually yeah. I can actually wake up at, 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 in the morning and attend an eight, eight o'clock class mm. from home and I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable here. I had a lot of friends, mm. a lot of people there and I'm like mm -hmm. I don't wanna change. I wanna I wanna be really? here. It's really nice here. Um, the other thing I had like already have a supervisor um, and uh, I knew what I wanted to learn mm. at uh, at a, a master's level mm. and um, I could see my way through I could see my my, my master's finished in, in that particular year sure. but then the drawback was um, I was gonna do master's for two years and I'm like mm -mm, I'll wait <laughs> unfortunately I got an internship so I was doing my 
my master's is with, with an on internship in the center. Nice. Yeah. So your internship was at Univern as well. It was at Un in, in the same department. Oh, that's that was nice. so great. <laughs> so oh, so now you're getting paid as well. Yeah, but then in the internship you get like to to be introduced to like working with students, mm -hmm. being a leader, this handling the paperwork. Um, a lot of things like a lot of um, admins that admin are involved. Staff, yeah. So you have like an experience in admin, and then you have experience in the lab. Like, you work yeah. with the students. You get to be a tutor as well. Mm. So I was actually tutoring the students as well. But then, so then that affect good. like your masters. The internship. Yeah. It's basically something that you work in. If you're doing masters, then you have to work with students. You have to um, consult with them. Mm. You teach them. You you tell them what to do, you go mm. the practicals and everything. So it was basically along the lines of my work. And okay. Process. So it didn't really affect it. Okay. Yeah. No, okay, I get you. So now I just want to give people perspective because we said that that is how we met. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what happened was you said that before we, we, we started recording, you said that you emailed me. Because what I was saying, actually recorded this in the other video, like I'll release it, you guys will see it. Mm. You, uh, I remember the, the, the supervisor from Rolls, she mm. sent an email to all of the people. Oh, with a there. whole list of people there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. And I was just like, oh, okay. Because everyone is, yeah, I feel yeah, like everyone yeah. is that nosy to see, okay, who are who's, Yeah, like, who's going to be in the class? Yeah. yeah. And I think it was like the, the papers for NRF who was supposed to sign. Yeah. And we were supposed to look for accommodation as well. We were supposed to do a lot of things. So I was there in my computer, like uh, typing yeah. what rules look like and where am I gonna stay? How much oh, is the I remember. Stay? Like I you, remember. <laughs> no, the stress. No, <laughs> the stress. Like, and been through a lot. I was an honor student who only knew, only knew uh, partially. Who yeah. Partially knew John's back on day, and I'm like, okay. I'm Grahams Town. Grahams Town. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> who is in Town? And then I talked to a lot of people and I said it at home and ah, no. <laughs> so sure, I, I, I did it. the information. How did you, how did you, oh, you look at the, you were saying, yeah, you looked at the, I looked email. at the list and then mm -hmm. I can't remember if I emailed you or you emailed me. I can't remember. It, it sounds like me. If I would have went to the emails and see a uh, Rachel Gile, I would see this person is stronger and that's this is the right person well. that I can. <laughs> this is the right said. person to connect to. <laughs> that's what I said as well. Like this yeah. is a better person, so like at least there's familiarity. There's familiarity. Yeah, you, you just want to feel comfortable. You want to feel yeah. at home. Yeah. yeah. Like, so that's, that's, that was me. Yeah. So I saw the email. I think I think you were the one who oh, who messaged. Yeah. And then I saw the email and I'm like. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, mm. Did you see this one? And then I think we, we had like some kind of conversation on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. And then you were like, um, that, that day, I think it was like two weeks or one week ahead. You just said, um, no, I think I pulled out. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't remember the details of what happened. But, anyways, what happened now is that I was looking for a certificate of mine, a bioinform because remember I told you guys that I did bioinformatics and in my honors. So I was looking for that certificate, and that's when I got that email that I sent to you. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, and then you told me that you were not, at, you did not go to to Rhodes, mm -hmm. and I was just like, okay. Um, <laughs> but I felt a bit comforted that okay, I'm not the only one. I was pulled out. <laughs> yeah, it was so scary, but yeah. and, um, and I was so scared of challenge by then. I am not yeah, scared now. Definitely, <laughs> I, I feel the same. I think that's mm. the disadvantage mm. of going to like a university where you're very comfortable. Change becomes scary. Yeah, because if you're from University of Limpopo, you yeah. can just decide around four and go home. <laughs> you know exactly. <laughs> so. Um. Yeah, but then I think uh, right now I'm I'm more comfortable. I'm I'm grown. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so if there's anybody watching and you're interested in coding, actually the way I like, uh, I'm, I like the way I, 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 how can I put this? The way I feel like I should have given that opportunity a chance. I've actually like started learning how to code. Oh. Uh, just by myself. Okay. So yeah. What are you coding? Ah, we're not there yet. <laughs> I, I only started a few weeks ago. So we will be coding subscribers here. Yeah. And not more. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. We don't have to code. 
you guys yeah. just have to subscribe and then you'll get more of this content. That is, that is so true. That yeah. is so true. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we, you should never be scared of change. And yeah. I feel like it would have, I would have been thrown in the deep. Mm -hmm. But I think I would have come out very stronger than I am now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then we were afraid of failing. I don't exactly. think a person should be afraid of failing. Yeah. If you want to do a course, just go there, give it your best. And yeah. if you fail, do it again. Do it again. Exactly. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Exactly. Like you don't have to to be scared of failing. Yeah. Because failing. It doesn't mean that you're damn stupid or whatever. Yeah. It just means that you didn't do enough and you exactly. can actually do better. And now, this time, you're going with experience. So exactly. You don't exactly. Have to fail. I <laughs> think you're the best person to actually talk about it based on mm. the fact that you actually upgraded, upgraded. and did so well. And I was, I'm so proud of that. Yeah. I upgraded. Yeah. I upgraded. Um, simply because um, when you look at when you look back, there's a lot of people who actually get good marks and everything. Yeah. Not. Not to say, um, uh, I don't know how to put this in, in the most <laughs> polite way, you understand? Yeah. But when you look back and looking at the things that I have achieved, mm. uh, where I have become, mm. you look back and be like, okay, even people with good marks didn't really make it yeah. this far. So you wanna, yeah. um, you don't, you can fail here today, it's just one battle that you lost. Tomorrow you fight another one and you exactly. come back Strong. with steroids. <laughs> you come back with steroids. Okay. Um, now, I want us to talk about uh, coming into... Because like, you said that you were scared to go to your master's at Rhodes. Yeah? Same yeah. thing applies yeah, to scared. me and many I'm other scared. reasons. Uh, uh, but then you completed your... Are they still having those programs? We I should don't. find out. Yeah, we should find out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can actually register, hey? <laughs> you know, like maybe we can do it like part time work. Because now we have COVID. Yeah. So I think education is like online. <laughs> no, so no, it's called online. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Uh, let's so, talk about yeah, like we're talking about being afraid, being scared of taking chances. Yeah. We once met that that point. Yeah. Because that was like the solo reason I was so scared of. of yeah. I was. I was like, okay, I know you never met. I'm gonna be starting something new. Yeah. And it's I, I think it's it's not just the environment; it's also the course itself. The course itself. Yeah. Because yeah. now you're going to be working with computers. You're not even that good with Excel. <laughs> But now you're going to, to use Linux, Linux yeah. and Python, and, Python yeah. and you'll be coding, and you'll be coding the proteins and stuff. <laughs> exactly, you'll be coding proteins, proteins and, and mRNAs, and mm. you'll be cloning mm. DNA. That is, basically, that is basically the dream, man. Like um, the dream was very big. Uh. The, the yeah. dream of becoming um, a, a scientist or play around DNAs and stuff. Yeah. That is because you have to play with them yeah. in a computer level. That's how, yeah. you, that's how people clone things. That's yeah. how they, they, they get to like discover genes, mm. they discover um, um, these people that are doing that, that are discovering new strains of mm. COVID. Yeah. They're using those kind yeah. of programs. They mm. like they sequence everything, they go and see, they discover mutations. That's mm. how you get like another strain, you get Delta. Mm. That's that's what they do in yeah. bioinformatics. <laughs> so they, 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 they do that, they yeah. know those, those DNAs, they go, okay, this is the strand, this is the human genome, yeah. and then we completely sequence it. They, yeah. they see the mismatch and everything, mm. they be like, okay, this is a new strain. Yeah. This is something that <coughs> the vaccine is gonna, it's not it's gonna work now. Of oh, yeah. which it can happen in two days, three days. So the vaccine that we have today you can just change and everything. Exactly. So that's that's the basics of it. Yeah. The bioinformatics people that the one who knows mm. that. And I think it's all about practicing. The more you practice, the more you want to learn more about. There's a lot of things mm. that um are actually difficult, and people are very 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 good at it. Mm. But it's not in a school level. Mm. There's a lot of um things that people do in everyday life. Um. We know people, people who, who, who fix phones. Mm. Most people can fix phones and they never go to school. That mm. thing is more difficult. Mm. And when you're at school, you're just doing something in a school level. So mm. you just, you're forced to learn. Mm. That is where the difficulty is. You're forced to learn. But then mm. if you love it, then you become very, very good at it. Yeah. You'll be like, okay, this is what I do every day. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. There's a lot of people, like, I know a lot of people who fix computers. 
Do you know? Guys, <laughs> that thing is so difficult. A person can build a computer from scratch and, 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 and it works. Mm. They even, okay, oh, oh, I can increase the RAM, I can increase the processor. Yay. This is whatsoever. And your computer, this is, yeah. that is cool. That is yeah. cool. A lot of people are doing something very, very difficult out mm. there. That is not a school level. Mm. If they had the papers and everything, they would be like very, very rich by now. Mm. So That's it's not true. really that difficult. And it's not. <laughs> and also, like I just want to say this: I have a guest who's still coming, who mm. taught himself how to code mm -hmm. and actually created an app. And mm. this guy is a scientist, and I'm just like, he's actually the like, <laughs> one person was like, <laughs> I thought this was difficult. If a, if a fellow scientist can do it. Then I can do. also I do. do it. Oh, I just need to. This is the thing. We have YouTube. We have um, the same way that you're watching this content. Yeah. You can actually learn how to do anything on yeah. YouTube. Guys, you can do anything. You can learn how to do anything on YouTube. <laughs> so, like, yes, because I was yeah. doing photography as well, and then I would uh, go to to YouTube, and I'd be like, okay. How do you edit pictures yeah. and you have like a whole lot of information like you can actually create a movie from just learning how to do those things mm. and you can do anything yeah you can do anything i know a lot of photographers today and those mm. that thing is very very difficult yeah i'm telling you it's more like coding looking at a picture <laughs> and say okay i want to do this i want to do this yeah. this is the angle they, like yeah. they have meds for you they have everything for yeah. you a person can learn. A person who didn't even pass grade twelve, that is true. they can learn and and produce very very good things. That is so true. So that is cool as well. That is so true. So by that, I mean, <coughs> I'm encouraging you to do whatever you love the most, even if you don't have the certificate. Just make it work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just make it work. That is so true. That is so true. Um, I have I have a friend of mine who's a photographer as well, okay. and he's I, <coughs> like he just started taking pictures at church, but then now he's just like go whenever I want him to take me pictures, I'm just like dude. Yes, in you're so expensive now. Like you're working with all these big people, and now I have to pay you much. <laughs> you know, you didn't even go to school for this thing, yeah. but you can see with the it craft is, that yeah, it yeah. has improved. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see actually the journey. Really yeah, really you can see with I. He's now competitive. Ah, so how did you? Because you are afraid to go to to you are afraid to go to Pass, Rose. to Rose, yes. yes, and then you decide to go to university. How did you finally decide that I am now going to do my PhD? Because like, and also, yeah, how did you now decide to go outside of university finally? It was two decisions that I had to make, and mm. which was not really, really simple. <laughs> you know, people would be like, um, especially when you, t when you say it at home, you'll be like, now I want to do honors, then everybody's like, oh, nice. Mm. And then when you do, I'm going to do masters, and ah, uh, I'm not gonna be doing masters only. Um, I think I um, I have an internship as well. Yeah. Okay. At least you can do that. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. And then now, PhD. A person has grown. Um, I can make decisions, and I have to weigh these options. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna do if I'm not doing honors? Mm -hmm. If I'm not gonna do, if I'm not gonna be working, what am I gonna do? And um, with this qualification, what can I do? I had to weigh out these options. I, w I would have taken away. Mm. I think um, with masters, I could have looked for a job until I find it. Mm. Be it in two years' time or whatsoever. Mm. At least you have masters. Mm. And it was not the matter of, I don't want to be home. Mm. It's the matter of, do you want to do a PhD? Mm. And then, home. <sighs> it was not an easy decision saying that I want to go out of university of Fender because but then I thought I, w I had learned um, everything that I needed in Univen mm. I had um, I'd, I'd, I'd been introduced to like a lot of techniques mm. I had done research like in two different fields because mm. I was like doing the, the molecular based one in, in my honors mm. and then now I was working with plants on my my masters mm. so I had at least a lot of techniques even those that I didn't do I had an idea mm. what was happening so mm. I'm like um, it's time for a change mm. and I had to like go outside there mm. and even when I was coming to Cape Town I still had that nerve I had to face it sure. best decision I ever made <laughs> best decision I ever made mm. and then when it comes to like leaving Univen, mm. that I, I think that was like based on the fact that I I had like learned a lot of things at Univen, and mm. I felt like I want to do my like at least a PhD mm. is supposed to be elsewhere. Mm. So 
when I got the scholarship to to come to to Cape Town, it was like not easy to make, but um, it was a, it, it, it was worth it. Mm. I can say. Yeah, I, say. I think I I concur with what you're saying. For me, coming to Cape Town changed my life. Basically, I can it, say that. Yeah, it does. It yeah. changes your perspective of things, man. Yeah. yeah, I remember the first time I got to Cape Town. Actually. Cape Town disappointed me, guys. <laughs> I want to tell you a joke. <laughs> okay. When, when, I, when you're coming to Cape Town, you're like, um, you, you, you don't imagine Cape Town to be what it is. Because mm. actually, when you search Cape Town at, you, at, in a big just you see like big places. Of which we have a lot of big places and it's so beautiful. Mm. But then when I land at, 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 um, at the airport, mm. I'm like, oh, New York. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I, when I was like driving outside, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's a skip down. You. you understand? Yeah. <laughs> it's a skip down. Mm. Okay, yeah, it's skip down. But then, Cape Town is so beautiful. I will never lie to you. Come and visit. Um, if you have opportunities, don't be scared of Cape Town. It's so super, super, super friendly. If you're coming to work, right? If you're coming to work, you always have someone who's gonna help you. I think coming to work in Cape Town is the best thing. Because the best thing. Ever. As a student, I. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Like okay. I felt okay for me as a student coming to Cape Town. I I was broke. That is the thing. If you are broke, so, like, um, you can't even go to Kent Bay. Nah, like, and and, and, and on, on, on those places are actually in your mind. You you feel like I want to see Kent Bay. I want to see how Kemp's I want to travel. Like, I want to go uh, to. Cape Point. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching part two of my journey to greatness with Ndowi. Please look out for part three.